G'day and welcome back to the channel. So in today's video, I want to show you how to do a really simple shoulder taping technique that's fantastic to help reduce shoulder pain and improve shoulder function. So what I'm going to bias here when we do this taping is we want to try and pull someone from their potential baseline habitual posture into a better anatomical position and keep it there for a couple of days to give the tissue a break, allow any tightnesses and stiffnesses that have developed to reduce and any tissue that's become painful, injured or damaged to also settle as quickly as the body's going to let it happen. Now what we tend to know with posture, with gravity, when we tend to be sitting most likely, gravity tends to allow us to drop our shoulders and roll them forwards. And we're often kept there for a long period of time without realising because we're doing something more interesting. Whether we're using a computer, whether we're playing an instrument, whether we're driving a car or just sitting there watching TV at the end of the day on the couch, most people's default shoulder shape is one where it tends to drop down and roll forwards. So the nature of this tape is we want to try and pull the shoulder back and lift the shoulder up a little bit just to respect that baseline anatomical function to allow that tissue to change. And what we've spoken about on the channel before is we know that when someone tends to drop and roll that shoulder forwards, it tends to put a lot more tension up through the neck and upper back, which is why we tend to see so much upper back and neck dysfunction related to shoulder dysfunction and pain. But we also tend to see the weight of the arm pulling through the back of the shoulder, forcing some of this tissue at the back to also get uh, stiff, tight and tender. So whether you have some biceps tendon pain, whether you're dealing with some rotator cuff dysfunction, whether it's a supraspinatus issue or one of the other ones, whether you're dealing with an impingement syndrome or something as simple as a bursitis, taking someone into a better shoulder posture can be a great way to unload that tissue, load that tissue up as normally as we can in that period of time give it a chance to settle down and change again as quickly as your body's going to allow it to. So the idea with this tape is that we want to get you into a good position first and then tape to support that shape and keep that shape for as long as possible. So essentially what we want to get you to do is we want to get you to pull your shoulders comfortably back without sort of lifting up through your chest. So you want to stay nice and still through your trunk and just relax again. So we want you to just gently pull those shoulders back and just up a tiny bit. So nothing crazy. Ideally, you'll see that the shoulder blade sits flat across the back. You shouldn't see like there's any winging or anything happening there. We want to make sure that this position becomes a good position. We also want to make sure that the elbow doesn't translate too far behind the shoulder because that can tend to tilt that, uh, that shoulder blade forwards. So instead, we want to have the elbow pretty much at the side, level with the trunk, and again, it allows us to pull those shoulders back into a good position. But what we're going to do basically is we're going to take a seven... Uh, on the right hand side, if we're doing the left hand side, it would obviously be a reverse seven. But we're going to try and respect the fact that the shoulder wants to drop. And we're trying to respect the fact that the shoulder wants to draw forwards by taping against those shapes to reinforce against those shapes so it doesn't tend to happen. So we want to start basically with the, the tape at the tip of the shoulder coming up to here. Some people like to tape all the way across, but for me, I prefer just to tape a little bit past midline. It tends to be a bit more comfortable in the neck and the other shoulder. So we want enough tape to cover that area. So we start uh, just at the side here, and again, just want to pull that back. I, I like to pinch a little bit underneath, just so we get a little bit of creasing in the skin. It just helps create enough tension in the tape that it's doing something, otherwise it might give too much. And the next thing we want to do is from this position, we want to tape down, basically down through the corner of that shoulder blade. Again, because this is going to stop the shoulder blade wanting to roll forward uh, as it wants to do with gravity. So just taking across here, again, pulling that shoulder back, making sure that it's in a good position, taking all the excess slack out of the tape there. And then again, we can go over this as many times as we need to to make sure that we have as much tension through this tape as possible. So same deal, we're going to go over the same bit of tape again. Again, pull that shoulder up a fraction, keeping that elbow sort of forward there. Take some of the tension out of the skin there. So it's okay if it looks like it bunches up a little bit. It doesn't matter if the tape is pretty or not. We only care about how it feels once it's on. And the good thing about tape is that we can consistently modify that based on whether we need more support somewhere, whether we've done it too tight, we can always change it afterwards. If you're dealing with pain, we wanna make sure that there's a reduction in pain of about 50% for this to be effective. But again, all we're looking for is if you try and relax again, we wanna make sure that the tape has some slack there. And remember, the goal of this tape isn't to hold you out of a bad position, but it's to remind you if you get into a bad position. So if Andrew was to relax and he feels the tape pull, that tape may come up, it may stretch over time. So his, um, his homework is to make sure that if he feels that tape pull, 
it's going to be a fantastic reminder to keep him in a better position. Now, the best thing about tape in general is that not only does this tape hold him in a, a better position or encourage him to be in a better position, but by taking the tension out of these tissues, we're giving the neck, the upper back, and the back of the shoulder a fantastic chance to release, to de-stiffen, to de-irritate if it is irritated. It will hopefully help improve the range of motion of this area once the tape comes off. Now, as we say a lot with taping, we need to make sure that you learn a lot while you have the tape on. So if you go about your day-to-day -day life with this tape on, if you suddenly feel like this tape restricts you from doing simple things and restricts you from certain positions that you might find you get into day to day, then the tape may be telling you that you're not getting into positions that are good enough to respect your physiology. And if you have a long-standing shoulder issue or some upper back pain or a neck issue and you consistently feel the tape pulling within the basic shapes that you get into, again, whether that's in front of the computer, whether that's on the couch, whether that's um, playing an instrument or sitting down doing something like arts and crafts, for example, then that tape is telling you that once the tape comes off, you might need to reconsider the shapes that you default into if you want this to go away long term. So again, if you can learn from what the tape is telling you so that when the tape comes off, you try and improve those shapes and reflect those same shapes, then again, we can have a conversation about some things that need to change so your symptoms can go away long term. So give this taping a go and let me know down in the comments how you went. Did you find it helped you pick out some shapes that you didn't realize you were getting into day to day? And did it give you that aha moment that allowed you to figure out some of the deeper symptoms as to why you have this pain in the first place? And if you enjoyed this video and you want me to make more of those, please consider leaving a like rating down below. Subscribe to the channel if you are new. And if you did genuinely find this helpful and you'd like more of this kind of content, please consider leaving a super thanks donation on the video. It's just a great way to help support me and the channel, allow me to keep making these videos for you guys going forward. So with that being said, Andrew's gonna enjoy taking that off and we'll see you in the next one, bye.